Hi there! This video is here to help you use inverse operations to check your answers to calculations. Inverse means the opposite or reverse of. Addition is the inverse operation of subtraction and subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. Multiplication is the inverse operation of division and division is the inverse operation of multiplication. We can use the inverse to check an answer. Let's complete a calculation so that we can use the inverse to check our answer. 498 add 325 equals 823. We can show the calculation in a bar model. Remember, in a bar model, we have the whole and we have the parts. The parts added together equal the whole. So part add part equals whole. Remember, addition is commutative, which means that the parts can be added in any order. The whole subtract one of the parts leaves the other part. So whole subtract part equals part. With subtraction, we can subtract either part from the whole and be left with the other part. Let's put our addition into a bar model. The whole is the total amount, so is 823. The parts are the numbers we added together, so one part is 498 and the other part is 325. Now we can use the bar model to help us identify the inverse of our calculation. The calculation was 498 add 325 equals 823. So the inverse will be a subtraction calculation. Whole subtract part equals part. The whole is 823. One part is 498 and the other part is 325. So our inverse calculation is 823 subtract 498 equals 325. Remember, it could also be 823 subtract 325 equals 498. To use the inverse to check our calculation, we now need to complete this subtraction. 823 subtract 498 equals 325, which matches our addition calculation so we know it is correct. Now it's your turn. Solve the calculation and then use the inverse calculation to check your answer. Remember that you can use a bar model to help to identify what the inverse calculation is. Pause now and restart when you're ready to check your answer. How did you get on? Let's have a look. When we complete the subtraction calculation, 975 subtract 783 equals 192. Using a bar model, we can identify the inverse as 783 add 192 equals 975. Now we can complete the addition calculation to check our answer. 783 add 192 equals 975, which matches, so our subtraction calculation is correct. Now you can have a go at some marking. These calculations have been completed, but they need to be checked. Use the inverse calculations to check each answer and say whether it is correct or incorrect. Pause here while you check them. How did you get on? Let's look at the inverse calculations. 986 subtract 647 equals 339, which does not match 345. So the addition calculation is wrong. 493 add 114 equals 607, 
which matches, so the addition calculation is correct. 888 subtract 565 equals 323, which matches, so the addition calculation is correct. 301 add 293 equals 594, which does not match 592, so the addition calculation is wrong. I hope this has helped you to use inverse operations to check your answers to calculations. If you're looking for even more maths help, we have lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. See you soon!